Yeah! Gotcha! Gotcha! Yeah! God! Gotcha! Yeah! Okay, let's see here. I can figure out how to find the start this stupid thing! Oh boy, I managed to freeze it, don't manage how to unfreeze it. Oh, okay. And I was there to do it, so of course I die. Brilliant! That, that's always a great way to load up your game after you manage to not do it. Well, at least that's a nice way to start fresh. You know, to be interrupted in having the world fall apart on its head. 90. Catch her, catch her, catch her! Shoot everything! Kill her, everything! Make it die horribly! Make it die! Make it rain! Okay, so we just keep shooting everything. Oh hell, because we can. Then comes the part where we start jumping and become a maniac. Because we're Sonic the Hedgehog. We're a warrior, but we're also Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm not really sure I understand that logic, but um, there you are. So there we are. We Now we got the more powerful gun, of course. Ah, boy, they got two, between two turrets. There you go. Let's keep going because we need to charge towards them in the middle area. Get to the um, other one. Banzai! And there we are. On we go! Is that? If we want to blow this up. Okay, there's that. Get ready for this. Eliminate everything! Destroy them all! Okay, there we are. Now we're ready for the world of the future. I didn't want to hit that thing, so instead I. Oh, I got this laser thing. That should be interesting. Probably it's not going to go well at all. Boy gun! That's what I mean, I, ha I hate that boy gun. Uh, now I managed to mess up everything. Brilliant! I I'm really proud of myself for my inability to, like, click these emulator things correctly. On we go. Eliminate everything. If you see it, shoot him fire. Just a soldier that's obsessed with shooting everything for some reason that I'm not really sure of. What's the war about? I didn't read the manual. Ah oh, well, this world, we don't care about manuals. I want a vengeance on that turret! This is what happens to you, Kaki. You want to destroy everything because you can. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so cocky. Yeah, th this is what happens when. You almost got me, buddy. Don't worry. My pathetic pistol shooter. It it worked against the commies. It worked against the commies, but it doesn't work here. That's the lesson. Nothing works here. We can do this. Okay, now let's actually get to it. What happens when I'm rusty now? Straight fire everywhere. Make a bunch of shots so that way everything dies. Let's excite the hedgehog across these. Kill the three guys there. Bots across again. Give me that. Precious. There we are now. Here we got me. But luckily he didn't. On we go. We gotta get into the groove of this, so that way we can actually, um, not die. There we are. Eliminated. Eliminated. Everything's processed to die. Okay, we killed him. And we can get across. And we can pull up this. That's him. We pull enough easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's destroy more things. This turret is too low for to hit me. If we crouch, we can actually eliminate it. Strategy, people. Point to have strategy and not properly shoot things. Okay, let's shoot him. Bye! Of course, I jumped too early. What do you think? Oh, God. That didn't work out in my favor. Curse. 
thought they could hit me, but I wasn't sure. Play thing. Don't worry. It's dead now. It's all dead now. Everything's dead. Including my sanity. Okay, now we just snipe out the door. Because it, this place, every door can be blown open. If you just keep shooting it. Obviously, that's a solution, people. When in doubt, just shoot the door. And now we have the fun part of um, not trying to die. Also, what is up with these shooters that they're like hopping across like freaking bunnies? That's the weirdest part of these uh, this whole thing. Forget everything else. These guys are like shooting like freaking bunnies. I could train these guys. There we are, a rifle at least. Something. Something I can shoot with! Hey, okay, one door. What door? Gone? Next way. Keep charging. Keep destroying things. Because I'm obsessed with destroying things. This is the one with the, he throws the bomb. Okay. You ready? Bow it up. Keep going. That's one. Here we are with the wave strike. On we go over here. Dive down so we can get that. That's that. Now we want to move over. Before it opens, there we are. Next one. You charge and pass all the waves. This one, we get. This is the evil one. Wait for that. Gonna rely a lot on our luck here. You can just keep ducking, weaving. Eventually it should blow open, right? Totally. There we are! And we got our spiral thing, which I don't really know if that helps us in any way. Okay, now over here. We want to strike this thing with all the force in the world. I don't even know if this is doing anything. You so run! Find out, keep shooting this thing and keep moving. We want to time this thing so that way we can get through the strikes. There we are. Made that one. Now we just need to destroy this one. There we are. He's going to charge a shot. Ah. Still have another chance. Okay, you can actually shoot this charge shots if you can. Okay, just keep striking. Ah. That laser beam! We're so close! That bloody laser beam at the very end! Make it all the way through this whole thing! Oh god! Alt! Alt! Alt's up! I get my like console popping up or whatnot. I hit Alt and that like messes up everything. It, it stinks when you know you have like buttons so close to each other. Let's see here. How did I start this stupid thing again? Okay, let's get back into this thing. Shoot that door! Okay. It's rather simple when you're actually able to shoot the body thing. Yeah, things don't take too many hits to die. It just... Holy hell. It also requires some accuracy. Yeah, if you hit off, off key, definitely takes a lot more shots. Just gotta be somewhat accurate with your shots. There we are, keep charging. Yeah, it would help if I was actually more accurate. Definitely. Get this door open. Charge forward. Look at all the bullets. All the bullets of hell. Just gonna keep waving. Watch, watching the bullets at the bottom of my screen so that way I can get through. There we are. Ready for the next strike. And here, face the boss. Quickly move over here so that way we don't get hit by the first attack. Destroy that. Get ready to move. One down. Okay, now we charge over here. Destroy this one quickly. Move back. I'm gonna destroy next one. Back. Come on, get through. Go 
Come on, get hit that thing. Not even hitting them. Come on, I'm not even hitting that bloody thing. There we are. Now I can actually get through. Right, come on. Bloody thing. Die. Oh. Die with the fire of a thousand furies. I could aim at this guy. That's the problem. I'm not really aiming at him at all. <laughs> like that close, but not close enough. Really wondering if I had that um good gun by the end, how much better it would be. I can imagine that being like a great way to get through the stage. Yeah. To you. It's trying. That's the thing. If you have the better guns, it definitely would help a lot, I'd imagine. You know, as opposed to the rifle always. I get that far. Ah. Corner there. Of course, I fell right into the water when I did that. Okay. And to take it this way. Because it's a harder route doesn't mean it's... Just want to take out him so that way I don't have to even go through it this way. There we are. He's charging right towards me. Come on, get, get out of the water. Why, why, why can't you get out now? Okay, maybe you can't go out because it's a visible frame or something. Okay, let's head this way then. Cross that. I don't like this. Get away from me! There we are. Right as it was about to hit me, I jumped up. There we are. Rings of Fury and Death. My least favorite of the guns because I really do not understand the mechanics of it. I'd like to get to, um, Sanity again. Wow, that type of gun doesn't even have the ability to look down. That's a nice gun. Very effective, guys. You have a gun that just looks straight ahead. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Now let's do mass destruction. Stay alive, stay alive. We must all stay alive in this game of life and death against whatever in God's name I'm fighting. Okay, up and down. Easy enough. Yep. There we are. Dodge that one, luckily. Now for the easier part. What did I say that and I die horribly or something? Of course I did. You do us down. And through the root wall. Why couldn't I do that in the first try? Then my life would be a lot simpler, but no, of course not. Okay, time to get through the stage two nightmare that I'm not really doing too well. I don't know, is this level two or is this still level one? I'm not really sure of that. I'm not sure if this is like a mid stage or what, because it's weird. It's different mechanics. And me, that says mid stage. It doesn't tell me. I wouldn't think this is the same, um, I wouldn't think this is the next level. I wouldn't officially call it the next level. I nice if it was the next level and that I'm really fighting it through level two. One thing I do know about these type of games is that, yeah, you know, there's, um, a couple stages, but really, if you get past a couple stages, it's not too long. You know, it's more about the challenge than about length, so... You know, beating the first level here is a lot different than, say, a more modern game or whatnot, where you have a lot of levels. Granted, this one isn't as hard as some of them could be.
know there's people that definitely could do this a lot better than me. <laughs> Let's see here. Trying to get between the charges. Down, up, down. Bombs all around. There we are. Here we go. We're the weirdest gun in the world. Can we do this? Probably not. One down. Destroy it. Back we go. Get back. Don't want to die. Dying is bad, people. God, this guy is annoying. I'm not sure if this gun is actually very useful against that boss. Like, you can't really, like, reach him. The range is, like, very slow. I actually think this is better. Of course, I don't have much time with that. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's like the default gun is actually better than that wave gun. The wave gun might be alright for um, the final part, but yeah, other than that... That was terrible. They seriously just... How did I manage that one? I don't know how it was... I thought it hit back, but okay. Let me say game. Okay, at least we got him. I'm not really doing too well here for some reason. Quickly, pull it open! Through this door. Okay, now let's get back into our rhythm because we basically have that bloody rhythm. Gonna keep going, spamming every button, get fried by stuff because we can. Electricity! Doing too well for some reason. Yeah. Um, let's try this again. What do you think? And now emails. Wait, what? Leave me alone, people. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to do a recording every time I'm getting random emails. Of course I'm getting distracted. That's how it works. It's only been 17 minutes and all of a sudden the world's trying to bug me. Thing. I'm trying to drive me crazy, isn't it? Obviously. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, world! Here, what is this person trying to say? Well, uh, this is a great way to try to do it. Try and figure out what they're saying while playing. Uh, uh this. Yeah, I don't care about that right now. Okay. What was the other message? Oh, I was on YouTube. Okay. I don't care about that at the moment either. I don't care about anything. I, don't care. I just care about trying to survive this bloody thing. Look at YouTube comments sometimes. I wonder why I have those. Freaking masochist, that's why. There's a point of contra and trying to respond to messages. Please help me. For the love of God, to me. Okay, now I can actually respond to that message. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. My emails. Uh, what's what's this message about? Yeah, I'll do it live on air. Live on air with commentary. Uh, yeah, just people saying you you love love the enthusiasm or whatnot. Um, um I will bench you. Definitely getting around to other PS at time, but um, Contra, Contra, baby, Contra. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, let's do this again, Contra. We, that's that, that's what this is about, right? Totally. We was talking about the other Contra thing because Contra. Oh, Contra, Contra fan. Because I imagine you're a Contra fan. Yeah, there or you're really just really like Quake. Maybe that's it. You probably like Quake. Hey, but Contra Quake. Quake. This isn't Quake at all. This this is a ter this is a terrible platformer. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. There's no expandability with mods here. In fact, there's really no point to really doing this at all. And not my style at all, game. I'm trying. It's a challenge. It's it's a challenge. Therefore, I must do it. It's bullet hell, and bullet hell is of course. Why'd I do that to myself? 
Okay, it looks like it was a regular rifle at least. Destroy! Hopefully this rifle is useful. Okay, that seemed a lot faster than destroying stuff. If I can live... It might be placebo effect, but I like placebo! Ow! Placebos are amazing! Okay, through here. To that going blue thing. Okay, back and forth and move all around. Dance, dance, my monkey, dance! Hit something! You get too ambitious to trying to hit something with that bloody gun. Okay, now we can actually maybe do stuff. Not, you know, I'm not trying to answer a million messages at once. For some reason, the world is trying to fall apart around me. And I was trying to, um, play a game. Isn't this fun? Isn't it fun when you have people trying to drive you crazy when you're just trying to shoot stuff for Contra? I just want to shoot. I just want to look at things and shoot. It's a very simple world, people. I shoot things, they die. I feel happy. Hey, come on. Give me a gun. Because I want... Bigger things. Bigger things that kill more. Wait! I had that like two seconds. That is a ripoff. I want my money back. More dead things. Die everywhere. I, I don't care anymore. I just want you dead. Okay. That. Can't sniper from here, can, but can sniper from here. What was I doing? Yeah, I'm not really getting into the game anymore, I think. I think I'm like... Out of it because all the blade distractions I need to get back into it and sink myself into the world I need to immerse myself in the world people how do you immerse yourself in this world totally when in doubt just imagine that you're a guy with a samurai hat on for some reason just trying to destroy the world you're the good guy, obviously. I imagine. In this one, they had no moral ambiguity whatsoever. Ah, okay, I see. I could just keep standing here and shooting you. Why would I go down there? Because maybe because I can't hit you otherwise. Door! Door must open! Door must allow me in! Luckily, explosions do not harm me in any way, people. Don't worry. I, I may have nearly suicided myself by running into a, bu a building while it was exploding, but that's just part of the sanity. One down. Let's get to the end. Love of God, people. Just get me to the end of this stupid thing. Let's get through. No dying. Die! I didn't mean to do that. Play rifle. For that, you shall pay with rapid fire. I shall spam you! Spam you with anger! Revenge! At least then the good news is this is more concentrated, it feels like. The other one, it didn't feel like it was doing much damage. Um, It felt like the balls were because they were spread out. This is like the same attack, but more concentrated. In a way, it's probably good. Knowing me. My ability to aim. Okay, there we are. How we charge this way? Through here, quickly. No time like the present. 
Destroy the world! Or something. Why is it just me? Or does it feel like it was going faster? Oh, that lasted two seconds? Always brilliant. That's two seconds. Die against the weird. Contra, 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 baby. Just charge through this one. Get fried. Get fried, baby. Fried. Here comes the mob. They're angry at me. They, they knew the things I did to them. I don't know what I did myself. I'm glad for this infinite ammo, at least. Because that seems to be the strategy. Don't let up off the trigger finger. Oh, have a little bit. I see the one convenience between the two is with the other one, the rifle, you basically don't even have to, like. It's a bit different the mechanic. This one, you have to keep clicking to spam. That one, you can basically hold down it'll spam. So it's a little bit of an easier time, essentially. The circle one, though, I don't like that one because, especially due to range, yeah, that's a bad power up to have. F. F is for friends who do stuff together. What hit me? Not the circle. Not the circle. I don't like this, people. I don't like the circle. I don't like circles. They didn't get the memo. And now I'm stuck shooting circles at the world. And saying, how am I supposed to get to that boss? With this terrible circle gun. <laughs> Why do I get the circle gun? Well, just keep trying to shoot stuff. Focus more on living. Than on, uh, hitting them. Well, that didn't really work. That's the thing. It's so hard to hit this bloody guy. You know, it, it tests my accuracy. And my accuracy is moot. Yeah. I don't know how on earth I managed to even get hit there. But I did. Afraid. He died. I killed a rabbit. The rabbit killed me. He looks like a rabbit. He hops like a rabbit. He must be a rabbit, people. That's that's all I got. Destroy. Destroy. I must destroy. Barrel roll. Wait, why, why do they have barrels in this place? It's like Donkey Kong all over again. fried that I died okay listen learn don't try and hit forward it doesn't actually help in any way I thought forward was like able to like snipe upwards yeah, I guess even if you kill the other two you couldn't snipe that top one I'm not sure how you'd be able to reach it because there's no way to really look up that far at least I'm seeing but there's probably some crazy trick or something. At least now I have my regular rifle. Better than that circle thing. That's sad, but yeah. The regular rifle, I was just able to do what I couldn't really do with the circle thing at all. At least with this, I have the ability to shoot. Be 
Keep going. I have no idea how far it was. I don't know if the light's on top give me a clue or something, but yeah, it's hard to tell when I'm trying not to die. Definitely help if I was this, you know, dead. This one, it's almost better to do the turret first. That way you can easily do this. Die. Okay, next. This one we can get through pretty easily. Easy enough, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. To the side, with fervor. There we are. Destroyed at the last possible second. Saved ourselves and humanity. Duck. Destroy them. Wait for them to pass. Duck again. Destroy. Duck again. Destroy. Duck again. Now it's just constant bullets. Double. Okay, now we do this. One more set. Do it again. God, there's bullets everywhere. They're going diagonal, they're going straight. I don't know where they're coming from. There we are. Okay, we're through. Quick, to the side. We still have full lives. We can still do this, people. Hopefully. I mean, this is the ultimate chance, don't, isn't it? Surprisingly, yeah, like I said, when I had the rifle, I don't know what happened, but for some reason it went really fast. I don't know, for some reason it didn't shoot up. That was weird. Okay. Come on, keep shooting. Well, that was terrible. You see, that is really the area that pretty much gets me. <laughs> yeah. No matter how many lives I have, that area pretty much gets me. And because I don't have a save state or anything, because you can't have one, it just ends up with this endless repetition. There's gotta be a strategy I'm missing here. You know. A way to aim sideways. Again, I'm able to aim sideways here, so why am I not able... Slightly too slow on that bridge. Always good. Oh goody, I can't even hit it. Like, we like, just like shoot them. I see, it's like a blind spot for me. There we are. Now I can get the F and uh, hate my life. Don't worry, it's F. For fire! Or something like that. I don't know what I'm doing. There we are. F for fire. F for mini. Wait, what? S. S. S is the gun I want. Yes. When you see the letter S, you know to go for it. L? I'm not sure what L is. L is for losers! I want S! S is for Supreme! Supreme Beef Patty! It's all American diet! Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's see here. That's one. Probably a bad idea. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Dive up. There we are. Kill the fire. One shot is dead. Good. 
That's actually one strategy to get it without do having to do risk anything. Hooray! I did it without the slightest bit of risk to myself. That's a strategy right there for you people. A way to exploit the first boss. There we are. Okay, it's time to get on and hopefully not die. That would always be a great thing. I don't know what R is. I think R is like the basic rifle. Okay, it's terrible. Rage. And dead. There we are, second one down. That's the one third. Get ready to snipe this one out. There we are. So far, so good. Here's the barrel roll of death of doom! That one's down. Fourth one. Just gotta be careful this one. Oh god, those bombs coming close to me. I take five. Just would like to take five, ready, not have to die. Okay, we actually lived. We're through. We have the gun. A chance. Can we survive with it? Going faster than normal, I think. Again. I think when you have a more powerful gun, it basically says, you have a more powerful gun, you don't need... Oh god, you can actually shoot out those turrets! Look at that, people! It can't hit me from here! Not easily. Darn it! How much more does it take? But yeah, that's the trick. You need to get rid of those turrets. Now you can have that destroyed. I see! So, all this time you can actually destroy the turrets. There we are! Dead! Victory! Where to? Waterfall, stage three. I really want to play this freaking game? I don't know. Made it to the waterfall stage. Where we're back to basically normality, I guess. I don't like the boulders. I don't like boulders. Okay, up here. How many shots? What the heck was that noise? I don't know what I just did. Here we are. Get rid of the turret. And there's fire! Just random fire sitting around here. Oh god. I don't know what this is about. But it doesn't look good. And this guy decided at that particular moment, it would be best to run across the map. I think B's a vulnerability or something. I'm not really using it well, am I? Here. That's a quick let's like the light of rest. Oh, what is the right weapon? This So oh, Brudo, so many platforming. Gotta shoot more. 
if we're gonna shoot more that that's part of the problem here I think okay it looks like it's beginning to something what, what what the oh god what is that thing what is that thing and how do you kill it <laughs> it has chains and is an alien or something I don't know what the heck was that thing I don't know I want that laser gun. I want the S. In life, there's only one answer in life. That's to get S. Now if I can just get to that blade platforming. That means this section is really painful. Oh yeah, I got the rifle! Wait, that's not good at all! That's terrible! Phew! Thought we was gonna get hit there again. Quick, destroy that turret before... Too late. Life is too late. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't think we're making it past the stage, people. Especially since I don't even know how to fight the boss. It's kind of the biggest problem of these type of things is you make it that far and then you're not sure how to fight the boss. Get into the boss and all that. Where'd that come from? Who shot that red laser at me? I want to know who my adversary was. Give me that B. Give me a B. Something like that. I have no idea how long this lasts, if it lasts forever. Oh, it doesn't last forever. I didn't pick up another gun. Could have picked up that gun had I realized that, you know, it would have ran out. It's so hard to tell. Okay, now I'm not flickering. It must have, like, just ended or something, because I could have sworn I was flickering right before it. But it's so hard to tell when there's a million different things falling at you. Hey, okay, let's see you. Let's jump this way. Right, this guy. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Keep jumping. Okay, that guy seems to be actually shooting from below. It seems like he shoots like a shot upwards. Get the bee. Ah, the bee's way up there this time. Oh, time to get up there. Totally worth it. B. Okay, time to get up to the next level. That's level. Hey, up we go. Easy. Turrets everywhere. Oh god, turrets everywhere. Like three or four turrets right there. You definitely need to take out some of these turrets before we head up. Because there's like too many when you're heading up. Okay, time to try again. We're, we're definitely making progress. I mean, I've learned now I can actually destroy those things that I thought were invulnerable. That's the thing. Half the time, it seems like that's usually the problem. Everything that you think is invulnerable is not. Everything actually dies horribly. So M and R are basically the same thing. I don't really understand the logic of that. Oh, we just want to keep going. He's gonna try and fire at me, but luckily, prepared for that. I was a fool. Of course I was. Okay, time to fix myself. Right, my wrong. Across the battlefield we go. Ah, didn't time that right. Come on, where's the guy over there? There we are. Okay, now we want to aim downwards. 
Yeah, because the original NES actually had this type of aiming system. Um, basically didn't have anything like, um, pad or anything like that. It actually had, um, this sort of thing whereby you had, like, a keyboard. So if anything, it's almost truer to the NES system to have it kind of like I'm doing it. It's a, a compared to, like, say, a DualShock or something like that, which would go out of place. Oh god, what am I doing? Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. The cocky went past the first one and then kind of got stuck in a landlock between the two. A lot of this game is about strategy and being careful and not just recklessly charging into whatever thing. While recklessly charging into everything. I know that makes no sense whatsoever, but that's pretty much how it is. Guards on the bridge! Leave me alone! Just like a Cyclopsian monster who just wants to be left alone. That totally makes sense, right? That's basically the story I get from this guy. This Herculean freak of nature. Blue striped pants. Okay, so. But the rocket ships fly past because the rocket ships are nothing. They mean nothing to me. Die. Okay, now we destroy this. Destroy him. And finally destroy you. Easy enough. Okay, now we want to wipe out him before he becomes a pain. And use the laser beams here to strike out those two. Because take advantage of this gun while we have it. Make life easy. I like life being easy with this gun. Yeah, if I'm able to destroy those um beam things in the middle, life would be a lot simpler, actually. I'm definitely learning that's part of the trick, too. So get through. We got to get through this whole base thing. Like I said, this is like a weird 80s movie thing. You have everyone in jumpsuits. It's weird. Okay. I'm apparently the only one here who refuses to wear a shirt for whatever reason. This is apparently part of the war. The reason for the entire war is my inability to wear a shirt like a normal person. That That's basically the plot line I've figured out. Is every important action hero refuse to wear a shirt? Wow, that was definitely getting risky. <laughs> Not gonna cut it down to the wire. This world, there are no wires. Just explosions. Ah, timed that wrong. Darn it. Now I'm stuck with this paltry thing. Paltry. Okay, so. Let's, let's start by taking out those turrets, because that makes life a lot simpler, actually, for me. If I had that and knew about that... Yeah, see? It's when it's opened. That's a big part of the strategy right there. Yeah, instead of trying to rush for the middle ones and having that um, final thing to deal with, you take out the turrets. While they're basically the only things in here. Now you got a safe moment. Get ready, because we have the final boss. Bam him. And now we basically just run back and forth without having to worry about any other things. This is a lot easier, actually. Yeah, basically just stand in a relatively simple area. Move. As long as he doesn't shoot too diagonal, it's pretty simple, actually. Like, I could basically shoot at him all day and not really have much danger there. <laughs> That's a rather simple boss, truthfully. You know, once you know that you don't have to worry about those two side turrets, because those two side turrets were really the battle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that leads me to Waterfall. Of course, is basically where you have that evil dragon thing or whatever in God's name that was. 
I don't even know. First, get past the rocks of hell. We are past him without dying. I always get hit by that bloody explosion. I really gotta watch out for that. Cause yeah, that, that would definitely help a lot to not die due to that. There we are. I hit it, but it's way up there. They're mocking me. Okay, this thing is not working out for me too well. Yeah, see, it's actually better to, like, control everything. Go slow it. Oh, I see. Oh, God, yeah. See, it's that C thing. That's what's doing it. It's that thing in the water. That bloody thing in the water is doing it. I get it now. I didn't even know that thing in that water shot anything. I thought it was just, like, derelict or something. I didn't realize it was an enemy. Yeah, it loves to, like, wait for you to pass and then, like, shoot something above you. I wonder if there's a frame whereby you can actually attack that. I mean, with every other enemy, it usually is. There's a certain frame whereby you can attack it. At least that seems to be the pretty good rule of thumb in this game. If you can see it, you can shoot it. If you can shoot it, it will die. Okay, I'm not sure this is actually useful. But yeah, at the moment, definitely not. Seems to only shoot that once, so yeah. As long as you're not reckless at one time. God. I don't like this. But amazingly, I made it past. And of course, I forgot about the stupid... Wait, what? Oh, okay. It landed me there. I, was just... I just moved forward too recklessly. I say, that was weird. They, like, dropped me right into the pit where it was. Oh, that's not fair. But okay. I get you now. I understand you, game. <laughs> I don't like those explosives. Okay, we're near the top. Can't let him get me now. We only have one chance at this, people. Can we do something? I hope. Almost there. Here we go. How does this guy work? Do you like crouch or something? No, that's not it at all. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I thought he swung those chains or something. I wasn't thinking... Yeah, I wasn't thinking fireball. I was thinking... I was looking at those chains and saying, I need to destroy those chains. I don't even know if that's the right idea or if I should be shooting for the middle. That's the thing. You have to figure out where to kind of shoot the boss. What do you do? It's relatively easy. If you notice, the second boss was kind of a joke. Once you know what to do. But before that... And I was, like, you know, the hardest thing in the world. That sums up Nintendo hard for you, people. Something that seems ridiculously hard until you really sit down, you figure out the puzzle, and how the game really wants you to play it. Nintendo hard, in a nutshell. <laughs> it's all about just figuring out what the game wants. Alright. Horribly made that jump. Revenge! Don't have the turret to deal with. They look like football people. They don't look much like actual professional soldiers as much as guys that are involved in a football arena. I panicked. There was so much going on at once. Okay, let's see here. Blinking, blinking, man, I'm blinking. 
That's all I got. Let's just keep spamming guns and um, hoping things die. At least now I know how to kind of get past this second round relatively well. Or that seemed like an impossibility. Twice on their bridge, wipe out these guys. Twice more on this bridge, wipe out what's over here. Just in case, had to be dodging. Grab this, that way we have the ability to decimate whatever. Why did I pay attention? God. Okay, I forget about the one guy in the woods. Of course. Well, let's try and get through this mess. Make up for my big mistake there. And there's my second chance of my gun. Let's see here. Let's get down there, get my gun. Having a good day. A good day, I mean. Okay, it looks like the best way is just drop down and just jump back up. Okay. Death to you. Okay, now we shoot this thing. Okay, you can't hit me. If it hit me, I would be dead. Okay, there we are. Now we play shoot this guy on top. Now we just spam this way. And this is how you exploit the first boss. Nintendo hard for you, everybody. Learn how to beat the boss. There we are. Simple enough. Straightforward. Into we go. Try and get through this area because I'd like to get the second bust in um, with this gun. Because it makes life even simpler. Also because I'd like to match some number of lives and all that. Okay, this one we want to go over here and for this thing. Don't want a stray shot to wipe me out this early. The stage, okay, that's one. Yep, this one in the middle. Wanna snipe out that. Charge forward. We're still going. We're still alive. Definitely notice we've definitely progressed since where we started. Definitely couldn't do this good this early on, so. There's really no way to like get past this mess unless you just duck, weave, duck, weave. You want like the whole gun shot to be past you, otherwise it basically is going to end up killing you. That's the part that like fools me, because I get up like a second too early, because I think the gun shot's past me, and it's not. You want it like between your legs before you get back up. I hit it. Getting secure. There we are. Let's make it up here. Destroy this thing. Not by destroying this gun. Okay, this th gun is terrible, even for hitting this thing. There we are. Yeah, I missed the rifle already. I mentioned how much I missed the rifle. Cause yeah, this thing takes forever to get up. And that, that's not good when you need a gun to hit the top of the screen as quick as possible. Granted, this kind of makes things a little bit easier in a way. This part, because now you can kind of lock. It's even hitting it. I hope it's in it. There we are. Oh wow, that actually makes it easier. 
Didn't really need to do much of anything there. I just literally kept clicking. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't even get to me because the circles were so wide in girth. Now, as long as we stay avoid those um blowing up thingies. Also, we didn't get another life back. That stinks. Duck to this one. Okay, here's where it's gonna splash down. We're ready to receive it though. There we are, Bill Breather Room. Ah, missed the one that was actually useful. Don't know where I got there. Oh, I got an extra life. Okay, R, I like R. R is now my favorite thing ever. A duck upwards. Now I just want to like blow up this turret. It's important to make sure everything dies. Put one more turret out of the way. Well, that one, so that way it's out of the way as well. Football guy! How dare you sneak up on me like that? I make it to the end as soon as possible. While I still have all this stuff and I'm able to wipe out boss guy. Hey, we want to be on the sides. That didn't really work for me either. Okay, I destroyed one of his arms. Destroyed both of his arms. Now all I can do is this. That's actually an easy attack to dodge. And there we are. I think that's level three done. There we are. Stage four, base two. Oh God, is one of these? Yep, it is. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. I, I hate you so much. This is gonna be evil. Look at this. This is an endurance run. Yeah, it makes me miss base one for sure. Oh god. Two of them? Four of them? Wait, what? Okay, there's just four turrets, I guess. Quick over here. We go. Another one. Why didn't it shoot it? I could shoot them. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't shoot it. It was weird. I did like. I thought when you crouch down, you can shoot it. Okay, looks like you actually want to say to the size of it. You can't blow it up. Maybe. Maybe you can, but it's actually better not to or something.
Bunch of guys with lasers hopping all around creation. Maybe a circle thing will hop. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Wait, what? Where am I supposed to go if I can't dodge between them? Came through this one. Next. One that looks like the last one I just left. Yeah. I mean, it's so far, but yeah, not. No cigar. Something like that. That'd be a trick to all this. It's always a trick. It's always a horrible start. Doing well. Like everything I learned about the game, I'm failing at now suddenly. Would help if I had better guns, I imagine, too. Yeah. Made it to stage four at least. So yeah, now I'm questioning how far is it <laughs> until the last stage. Am I making some degree of progress at least? I don't know. I don't know if that still means I'm like at the very beginning of the game. I've done like nothing. Like I said, I can't imagine it being too far. Here we are, got that. We just get trapped by the same guy too. I think I would learn, but no. Learning's for sissies. I'm a guy who shoots stuff. Going to a bot, so I'm Sylvester Stallone, but that of course probably isn't the case. No, I'm some ninja dude. Fighting the football team with a gun because that's totally sane and rational. When your favorite football team loses, be sure to murder them violently. Okay, let's see here. Down here we go. Up here we go to say, good day as you do. Today's you do. I would say I'll mean to you. Destroy that one. Destroy the second one. And destroy the door. There we are. At least we got our life back. Like we did everything perfectly. Except we didn't. Don't tell anyone. Okay, let's see here. Let's see how long we can last here because I hate base stages. That's that's what I've learned from all this. Base stages are like the most evil things ever in my eyes. The original, the regular game's actually not that bad in comparison to base stages. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, this seems to be the part that gets really chaotic. I mean, it's like you just want this part to end quick as possible. <laughs> It's only a couple stages, that's the scary thing, but it's so chaotic, the carnage, especially that final one here. Okay, barrel roll. What was that? It was like weird lag. You know how physically demanding this game could be? Get me through that door. Get me through that door, game. The 
don't feel safe, just hide underground. Just lie down and wait for everything to disappear. The 80s, where you could hide and everything would be fine. Okay, on to the final battle. Destroy this one. Yes, we can. Come on, open sesame. Time for the final guy here. This is the gun I wanted to use on him all along. Look at that gloriousness. Look at this. This is insane. That that was amazing. That's how you devastate a guy. Okay. At stage two, <laughs> stage three. Okay, now it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog time. Wish I could shoot the rocks. It's it's kind of break into a man that you can't shoot everything. You know, I've gotten used to the rule of thumb that I could shoot anything. And all my problems could go away if I just shoot them. Long enough. There we are. Might as well wipe out the turrets. I don't have to deal with something. Why bother with it? That. Dodge that. Ray, because there's probably more of those um derelicts. I'm not seeing any though. There's one up ahead. Get away from me! Chasing me! I didn't like that. I don't like football guys chasing me. Ah! Oh guys, chasing me everywhere. Why am I getting overwhelmed by this sun? They tend to moving. That was a horrible play, definitely. Oh! Didn't realize I was still alive. I just sat there, win myself, do nothing, until the world eventually collapsed on me. But yeah, I think that was my highest score because of how crazy it went getting this far. Okay, time to use the rings of peace. That's I guess this gun is. The one that shoots rings of peace. Friendship rings. Yeah, it's it's a best friend ring. Obviously. Hey, okay, my life back. If you give me my life back, in fact you made it worse. Shot me. Okay, time to use inv vulnerability flames to jump up here. You know, that could have helped a little bit with this whole part. Wait, what? I guess my invulnerability ended right there. <laughs> yeah, it's like it looks like it's working. So hard to tell half the time because it looks like you're still invulnerable and then like BAM, you're not. You cannot rely upon that really. It's more of a, thank god I was invulnerable more than a, I'm invulnerable, use that to my advantage type of thing like you normally would logically do. Oh yeah. One of the hardest games ever? I, I I can't imagine that for this. You know, th this doesn't feel too bad. Like, I played the Star Wars NES or whatnot. That was a lot more brutal, I felt. Maybe it's just me, but yeah. This may have gotten pop culture or whatnot as being brutal, but yeah. This is nothing compared to Star Wars. You know. I mean, that one was a Japanese Star Wars game, so I imagine not many people knew even knew what that was. 
But yeah, if you knew what that was... Okay, we want to get past this and not die. Get away from me! Get away from me! Everyone, get away from me! Everyone was chasing me from all different directions! Was this a blind spot? I think so. Okay, the and the only answer is to jump upwards. Give me that. Where's that? Okay. I could use a machine gun at this point. I'm gonna be able to use it well after all. Shoot everything! Wait, how? What? I don't even know what happened there. I, I thought I dodged the fireball, and I guess the left, the right one still kind of comes towards you. I didn't even notice it doing that, though. Hey, okay, let's see here. Hey, okay, now we just want to keep shooting. A rays of death. That to get past, okay. Up here. I can only get to that without dying. Give me the invisible frame. I needed it so much. There we are, that works. And there we are, still alive, surprisingly. Hey, we actually need to get up before everything murders me. This isn't really working my favor, people. Tried to get on here, but failed miserably. Well, this is a gun I need to um, do some damage. Let's see how this works. Okay. Yeah, see this boss is actually pretty easy, you know, you just need to avoid the two fire and then avoid the three in the center when it opens. And not too bad at all. Okay. I thought the second was harder to figure out than him. He just looked intimidating, but he really wasn't. Okay. This is the part where I don't like it at all. You know this crazy place? Just trying to blow them all up. Good news is, this gun is actually useful for blowing up that type of stuff. It all blows up all the wheelbarrow things. I want to treat it like I did in the past. As long as I take it cautiously here, I can actually not lose. So, that's very important. There we are. Simple enough. This gun especially.
One. Where we go? Boss is gonna be getting close. And this, this one. Okay, with we almost done. God, this is so long. Hey, how do you help top? Wait a minute here. How do you tap top? I can't get up there. I don't know how one hits up top. Oh, maybe you have to jump. I didn't even realize you could jump here. Okay, okay. That stunk. This must be it. Which thinks definitely because I made it this far with the other one. It would be nice to finish on this note. On. There we are. Use this because I don't know what I'm up against. What are those things? I don't know, but I want them dead. Oh god, that thing is rough on top. I don't know what those things are, but I don't like them. Where are those things? They don't they're like invisible invincible. Okay, what's the trick? They also seem to follow me. They're like homing missiles! Oh god! The freaking homing missiles! What's the trick here? What's I don't get the trick here! I, I don't know. I mean, it's the end of the fourth round, people, but yeah, now I'm stuck on what's the trick to that play thing. You know, I, I killed the turrets, but that guy at top doesn't seem to be responsive to anything. Well, I think I'm stopping for now. It's been a while, and <laughs> you only take so much contra in one day. Um, but yeah, not sure if I'm going to continue or not. It definitely has been an interesting thing, to say the least. Um, but I'm not really a fan of the NES era stuff, especially since one, no real modability. Like, you play this and then that's kind of it. You know, two, there's really no bestiary, no real thing that's really interesting about the world. Just kind of, you know, you keep shooting at everything and everything must die. There's a fire enemy, there's some soldiers, and there's guys in jumpsuits. That's pretty much about it. Oh, and then there's the bosses at the end of each stage. That's pretty much the most standout part of it all. But yeah, other than that, really not much here that's really like, um, it, it, it's definitely something that's definitely all right or whatnot, I guess you could say. It, it, I think this one's probably better than a lot of the other NES I've touched. Um, this is probably one of the best ones I've uh, seen or whatnot, um, which is why I'm really, you know, it's kind of ironic that people say this is one of the hardest because, yeah, honestly, I think, like, the Star Wars one was a lot more of a nightmare. Especially because you didn't have a gun there, um, or a gun that really was that responsive, should I say. No, that one you basically had very close frames. It would basically hit you, like, a mile away. The, the uh, bosses were absolute cheap nightmares. You know, and it was like you had to, like, you constantly had a lot of platforming with spikes everywhere that you had to, like, move in a specific direction or else you'd die. Yeah, that was a lot more of a nightmare than this was. Th this is rather simple. <laughs> um, it, I'm, as you see, it's still definitely a struggle. It's still Nintendo ever, after all. I'm not going to say it's, you know, the easiest thing ever. Um, but mostly, I feel like it's a case of learning the layout. As you see, I've definitely gone over the course of this from going from basically dying in the first level and not sure how to do that one to now at this point, able to basically fly to basically the fourth level. Um, basically, I make it to the fourth level, have that basically... I fight all the turrets, 
Thank goodness I know how to destroy turrets at this point. Otherwise, that would be a nightmare. But yeah, then all of a sudden you have those cop-like things over at the top. Not sure how to hit them. Because they seem to be in vulnerability flames. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, like, shoot all the homing projectiles that shoot at me. And eventually that weakens them. But yeah, that's kind of throwing me off. Um, to have something that's just not being affected in any way. And I'm not really seeing the obvious answer. This is exactly kind of why I'm not a big fan of the Nintendo era anyway, because it's all freaking puzzles. If you notice and you look at it, like I said, look at like the second boss is a great example. You have a bunch of turrets and then you have the guy who shoots basically projectiles in the middle. You know, the whole challenge of it basically was, you know, the turrets were basically overwhelming you and you had to figure out, shoot the turrets, wipe them out and all that. Well, once you knew what to do, it became really simple and almost mindless. And that kind of sums up most bosses even of the era. It, it basically, bosses of the era where you basically see an enemy, it basically has a certain pattern that you have to um, repeat over and over until eventually is dead. Um, and you can see this type of mindset go through even to the days of Doom and all that. If you have, like, a boss, it's a pattern, and you still have to beat it. Now, of course, Quake isn't much better. In fact, Quake isn't really any better at all when coming to bosses. I mean, if you want a game where bosses are a blatant puzzle, you look no further than Quake. But, um, it still goes to show that puzzles really were a big thing or whatnot, and really, that's really what bosses felt like, more than, like, um, a direct challenge, if you will, um... Uh, you know, I feel like I'm more challenged on the way to the boss than the boss itself. Um, and then I'm getting more annoyed with the bosses because I'm having to try and figure out how to beat the stupid boss. Um, you know, I, I, I get through the entire round or whatnot, endured, you know, the challenge of trying to figure out how to get past all these different guys. And then we have, guess how to beat the boss? You know, while not, and if you mess up too many times, you have to go back to the beginning. Yeah, that's, you know, not having any save states at all, not really having anything. It definitely, not my style, definitely. Um, I, I could imagine this definitely being something to do, especially back then when you didn't have much else. Um, like I said, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen of this era. So I'm definitely going to say props to it definitely for its time. <laughs> um, especially with a lot of the other nightmares I've played. I'm rather happy to see something like this and seeing that there wasn't stuff that wasn't too bad. Like, I, I could imagine touching this or whatnot and being like, this isn't bad. But with better alternatives existing nowadays and, you know, having the ability to have more challenge and all that and more mo uh, modern thing or whatnot, like a heavily modified Quake with a bunch of different enemies that are br uh, brutal. Um, I think I kind of prefer that to something like this or whatnot, which... Like I said, the puzzles, I, I guess the big problem is the boss stages are too common, if you will. Um, in Quake, you only have the two bosses, otherwise it's not really a problem. In fact, you, it's not really a problem at all. You don't really care about the bosses for the most part in Quake. You know, they're kind of that over oversight, and they're made to be that oversight, so you end up not caring about it. You care about the regular enemies and the tough scenarios they kind of make there. Now, granted, Quake isn't the most hardest of um, FPS games at all, especially the vanilla levels. Um, but definitely, if you heavily modify it out, all that, you can definitely get some good challenge out of it. Um, and you can also get some good challenge out of some other FPS uh, that were a little bit later. Unreal, especially. Un Unreal's AI is really... Especially if you get, like, the 227 um, patch or whatnot and, like, get it to, like, godlike... Yeah, you can end up with some really interesting AI there. Um, but yeah, so challenge is definitely, I think I've kind of gone over this topic before, but challenge is something that is definitely good. But first and foremost, you have to enjoy what you're doing um, in order to really get into the challenge. Um, and this is moderate, but I'm not sure this is really something that I would say I'm really excited to get to the end because... What's really, at the end of the day, the benefit of getting to the end? Is it something that I would say I have an interest in? It's more, I beat it. It's something that's on my backlog. That's that's really about it, I could say, for really completing this one. <laughs> so do I continue forward and do another third part? Or do I just kind of call it quits here and say, 
we did conjure we kind of saw definitely the guns and the basic idea of it hey we made it you know four levels or whatnot i'm curious definitely how many levels there are in Con um is there like a good way to see that um i would definitely be intrigued to know how many um stages there were in contra oh it looks like um se seven stages so yeah by making it to stage four we made it about halfway through the game i'd say um definitely not too um not too early, uh, early at least but at the same time um yeah Oh, okay, it's actually eight stages or whatnot. Um, again, actually, no, wait a minute. The NES was, the waterfall was... Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Stages five and six were combined into stage four. So, basically, we um, merged into two stages or whatnot there. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, with that in mind, there's really not much more to talk about. Anyway... Thank you all for watching, people. It's been kind of, um, well, something. I guess I'll see you all. Well, that's time.